We went through the list yesterday. There are, what was it, three months and 28 days on our calendar filled with days like this. So it's it's a third of our calendar has been taken over by these LGBTQIA+, plus, if I get the acronym right there, it's been taken over by these. These days are all, not just days, it's months, it's days, it's days. I, some of the things I read off yesterday, which I won't repeat today, but it was it's everything you can imagine. Everything you can possibly imagine. Trans Day of Visibility adds to that list. Which again, I mean, I I don't know. I think reasonable people start to think, what does this mean? Trans Day of Visibility? My goodness. I mean, there are, th- this is something, if you want to talk about a group that doesn't need more visibility, I mean, my goodness, this is everywhere. This is accept it, take it, leave it. You know, we're going to keep coming at it, keep coming at you with this. We're going to force you to adhere to the rules. We're going to force you if you believe, biblically speaking, that there are two genders, God created them male and female, do not for a second think that they're going to just say, okay, you know, we can agree to disagree. Uh Uh-uh, that's not how this is going to work. They're going to continue to ratchet it up. They're going to continue to come full speed ahead at us from every conceivable direction until we capitulate, until we give in, until we decide to adopt this particular worldview. And as I said yesterday, dream on.